Now to the float flap. Tonight, the board that organizes the Celebrate Council Bluffs Parade is publicly apologizing to the Vietnam Veterans of America. New at 10, KMTV Action 3 News reporter Lindsay Thies has the apology and the vet's reaction. Lindsay. Craig, it's all because of this float. It's called a tiger cage and represents prisoners of war. Both sides say they didn't expect this controversy that's left them caged in conflict. It, the bottom line is we made a big mistake and, and, and we are humbly and, and enormously sorry. Apologies are being made after officials denied Vietnam vets the opportunity to march in a parade with the community they fought to keep free. The group wanted to march in Saturday's parade with a tiger cage float, a makeshift cage with a mannequin inside, representing prisoners of the Vietnam War. Parade officials rejected it, saying it didn't fit the theme. Parade board member Carol Horner, whose father and uncle are Vietnam vets, said the cage appeared in last year's parade and got several complaints. I had a father say, um, you know, my five-year-old daughter shouldn't have to be exposed to the atrocities of war in a parade meant for children. And I had one vet say to me, um, you know, I had to sit down. I almost fainted. It brought back way too many bad memories. Why are you doing this? What we missed and what we didn't take into consideration was their perspective, too. By their perspective, she means the vets who wanted the cage. Earlier this week, veterans unleashed anger and raw emotion at the Council Bluff City Council, some traveling more than 100 miles to speak. Tonight, the group's president is relieved. We want to make sure the tiger cage will be in in uh, the years to come. And while the apology was made only via press, both sides will meet tomorrow and say they're ready to move forward. There's no sense in getting upset about this. It was a press release to everybody. So let's just let things go on as they are and let's have this meeting tomorrow. Let's get this thing resolved and go on about our business. And of course, we'll let you know how that meeting goes. The Council Bluffs chapter of the Vietnam Veterans of America have since been invited to two other parades in Iowa. Live in the studio, Lindsay Thies, KMTV Action 3 News.